This must be it. Pretty out of the way. Well, thankfully, it only took me three seconds to get here, so. <laughs> With nonstop running. So this is the person who might also know about the bones? Mr. Blake? Yes. My name's Brent Halligan. I'm a detective from Scotland. Oh, I've heard of you. You're a piece a of shit. Probably should have phoned ahead, but, uh... What's this about? Is something wrong? No, the police coming to your house is always fine. Don't worry. <laughs> you are in private. Uh, sure. What's happened? Is there a problem with one of my publications? No, no, sir. Yes, you're under arrest. <laughs> Perhaps you could help me? And the literary police. Murder. Oh, what's wrong with this finger? Awful. But what does that do with me? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but first, let me massage this imaginary person in front of me. <laughs> Murder? Do you mind if I virtually juggle? Come on in. Oh, that was fast. Well, you're the author of a book on druids, am I right? Yes, quite correct. In fact, I'm just working on a revised version for the next edition. But I'm sure that's a big hit. Interested in my book. I'm currently investigating a series of murders in London. I've made some interesting discoveries that I'd like to discuss Discovery. with you. Discoveries. This one so specific bone. Talking about. The skeleton murders. You may have read about them in the papers. <laughs> that's what we're calling them? Of course. A terrible business. Mr. Blake, I believe there may be <laughs> Terrible some business sort of pays absolutely nothing. Behind these murders. <laughs> well, what makes you think that? Dr. Turner from the Anthropological Museum in Oxford examined one of the last victim's bones for me. She found residual traces of gold on it and round notches. Round notches, you say? You say? <laughs> Does that mean anything to you? Doesn't your book on druids mention ritual killings for which a golden sickle was used? True. Are you saying these murders are based on the same ritual? No, I'm that's saying you're under arrest. Me. But that's impossible. It can't be true. Druids are made up. My God, it would, it would be unthinkable. It would confirm all my translations. I've been researching the history of the I just assumed I was wrong years. all these years. <laughs> never it's like he keeps trying to see if Halligan looks better in his left or right eye. <laughs> yes, the perfection of the final ritual. The final confirmation. <laughs> Stop <Druid's> that. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a nervous tick. Well, the druids were Celtic priests. They were highly respected. You couldn't have hit Wikipedia before you came. You had all that time to get here. You could have read a book or something. His book, maybe. Included conducting sacrificial rituals, medicine, astronomy. <laughs> if only I had made a thing for you. And justice? <laughs> ancient justice. Ancient Britain. Druids were all about that ancient justice. To the European continent, especially to Gaul. The first definite evidence of the Druids' existence goes back to 500 BC. I guess, That's I don't know. Time I'm making this up. <laughs> <laughs> for at least That's all he got from that. Wow, that wasn't recent, That's huh? That's a number, right? Class of Celtic Whoa. society. What happened then? Well, with Britain and Gaul being conquered by the Romans, the Druids... No, 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 I don't want any gum, <laughs> thank you. ...abolished and replaced by Roman tenets. In the end, Christianity took over. And by around 1000 AD, Druidism seems to have vanished. I like how our character's just doing this in like a long, unblinking stare. That's Duh. Easy to explain. Like the Romans and the Greeks, the Celts had a number of gods to whom various functions were ascribed. They paid homage to these gods with rituals. Can you please list each and every one? <laughs> Many of their cult rituals were performed for the stars. And the Can you just tell me who did it? Fire, water, <laughs> air, and Earth. Can capped hard, I think, too. Always took place in forests. Usually <laughs> what did you learn in the investigation? Oh, nothing. Nothing relevant. The Druids. But the Druids, I could talk your ear off. He mentioned the word 500 once. What were their rituals like? Well, they made fucking lit, bro. <laughs> Druids would burn plants and twigs to transfer them into the realm of the divine. And you're saying Druidism has not what? continued to this day? But they also sacrificed animals. Mostly rams or pigs. Roman writers. Well, I killed a homeless guy once. Is that the thing? Am I a druid? Regular slaughters on the altar. What? Oh, that's horrific. Not all of these stories are based on definite facts, Mr. I've been making all this up. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the four elements. What? Why what is fire? <laughs> regarded the four elements as the material of which the world is made. They invoked the elements and use them for their rituals. But not me, no, no, no. Proper elements, <laughs> air, water, and earth. Fire 
The fourth element existed solely for the purpose of transferring one of the three basic elements. Holy shit! Another. Like, what a fucking brick wall this game hit. We've been talking to this idiot for five <laughs> minutes Seriously. about goddamn druids. And we're getting a chemistry lesson. Liquid form mm -hmm. With the help of fire, take a mixture of. I just realized you have a first grade understanding of this, Halligan, so. <laughs> represents so is fire hot? Transfer of one element <laughs> into a new condition. That sounds pretty complicated. <laughs> It really doesn't, actually. But it's actually quite simple. Yes, well, that's what my I mean, children know this. He always tries to tell me whenever he starts lecturing me about chemistry. <laughs> well, well, that's what he tells you. <laughs> what do you mean I shouldn't bore you with details? What do you mean just do? <laughs> this is the text I wrote down during my travels through England and France. You know, when France. you travel through the country, you can feel that... Many Wait, aren't we in England? This guy has no accent. ...the old Celtic customs. A group of farmers in the south of England... Yeah, he's decidedly not British. The inscriptions no. ...on a megalith that stands in a field there. They claim that there used to be a huge druid tower mm. close to their house. But there's nothing left of it now. Whatever. I managed to translate... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> ...at least in part. Okay, Mr. Blake, please come to the point. What now you say? ask him to. It says that the last of the druids saw the fall of their priesthood coming. Well, that's right farther than the previous date. In the confusion surrounding... Is that a long time ago, or no? <laughs> a demonic superior druid seized power. <laughs> superior druid. Druid magic, not for the good of his people, man to honor the gods, but to submit all of man... Did it work? ...to his rule. In order to secure the survival of the druid's tradition... Oh my god! ...to complete his devilish work... I'm gonna look ahead. He How tricked far? the other druids into drinking 90% ethanol. ...the knowledge and power of the last of the druids to five infants... These infants have always been referred to as the inheritors. Could you not give me all? No, no, not no, all the best. They referred as that because their last name was inherited. <laughs> I've not yet been able to discover why, but from what I've learned, the inheritors. Oh my God! Powerful enough to Bloody. want to complete the ritual by themselves. But wouldn't they be very old babies now? What happened to the druids after 1000 AD? <laughs> Well, that's a good question. God damn it! Very <laughs> good, Halligan. You're listening. <laughs> Some suspect that many druids simply became priests in the Christian church. All right, how far does this go Christian on for? I opened the video in another. That had All right. For the oh my god, it goes to like 12 minutes. What? And secretly Holy shit. Are you fucking Slowly kidding? Th I'm trying to learn about Certainly druids. Shut up. The Christian church. That we do know. Some experts believe that the Druids order... Really? I went to church growing up. I don't remember hearing much about Druids. ...where the myth surrounding the final ritual comes in. It supposedly took place a thousand years ago. Should we just, 1, like, tell AD, people? yeah. What have these murders got to do <laughs> Like you said. Myth? Well, that's just it, Mr. Halligan. I haven't told you the whole story. Oh, I'm no. a huge dick. <laughs> you need to strap in, because it's about to get crazy. <laughs> what I've been telling you is my prologue in my book. To complete the ritual. <laughs> Actually, the preface. I've been just reading the book to you. The flesh has to be cut off. What is he? Halligan was playing with his pretend boobies there, I guess. Only then can their life force be transferred. You mean the victims of these skeleton murders? You don't know that it had to do with druids yet. Druids? Yes. I don't believe it. You shouldn't. You don't have to, no. Yeah. Huh? What could possibly be worse than that? My imagination is very limited. Have been found in London. Bearing marks of a golden sickle? It can only mean one thing. The inheritors are preparing for the perfection of their final... Or... Ritual. Which means? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, or? That's... I mean... ...will become a place governed... A golden sickle? Oh my god, the druids are back! <laughs> there is no alternative explanation for this. I, I don't know where you thought you were going with that. Great. Great. <laughs> I believe it's possible. All mankind is going to be subjugated. Great. Halligan, I only deal in facts about the crazy druid people. To know that more goes on between Evil demon gods coming back. That's all I needed. I only deal in the facts. And the skeletons that have been found within the past few months fit in perfectly with the druids. Does he have like a headache or something? He's tiring himself out. He's like, God, I just keep talking. I can't stop. He's like, oh my God, I don't believe a word of this. What we're looking at right now is just the beginning. But I thought people the beginning was 500 AD. More people will die. How did, how, will why would you not arrest this guy right here and he's like, more people are gonna die, by the way. Is that a threat? Oh, okay. You must find the inheritors 
and put them out of action. I mean, I guess they exist, so, you know. That's an easy thing to say, but how can I? Find a baby. There may be a way. <laughs> huh? During my latest research, I came across something... Oh, finally, something interesting. Well, let's hear it. <laughs> Opens up fanfiction.net. <laughs> it was extremely important for the ritual a thousand years ago. So, from his desk, am I to believe he was actually studying about druids at the time we came over to ask him about druids? That's his thing. Okay, I guess, but... That picture in the background? Totally a druid sailboat. I don't know, Mr. Helligan. Oh, so he needs the Amulet of Transformation to stop the druids that he's just assuming are killing people and will take over mankind. Find the Amulet. You may be able to prevent the ritual. Or do it yourself. How did you find out about the amulet? My work led to the discovery- God damn it! We didn't need this information! Who cares? There was a small group I kinda of miss Halligan's office scenes now. Yeah. The failed. What for? I don't know. It's like a MacGuffin! Maybe they wanted to save the amulet. And then it ends in I don't know anyway. The 13th century despotic I bet the writer of this game was so fucking happy with all this druid backstory he came up with, and I hate all of it. First the druids, now the French. <laughs> so is that a druid, or...? Well, he doesn't look particularly friendly. <laughs> <laughs> well, he must have had something to do with the druids. I mean, I don't know. I can't tell you how he gained possession of the amulet. However, I mean, I did draw an amulet on there, so... Give you. <laughs> My niece colored this in, so... That's right. I suggest that you make your way to Carmore. With any luck, you may find more clues... So you've never gone there? With any luck, right, or you'll just, you know, find more people to talk to that have right. nothing to say. Good luck. And then you'll still not know who murdered. Oh, oh my God. God. What can I do for you? No, don't just keep talking to him. I keep almost nodding off. Oh my no, God! No, no, that's a question. lot of too many choices. Don't, no. don't ask him that. <laughs> that's so rude. I was attacked a few years back. Attacked? Who by? I don't know. It was after I don't really care. Of course, it's about the druids. <laughs> and wait for me and beat me up. <laughs> that druid right. biker king that's out and about, I think. Someone? No, not that I know of. They just beat me up, without warning and without saying a single word. Then they left me lying there. They called me druidiot. <laughs> Where did you sign the books? In like a dark alleyway? How did this work? Do you know what they look like? They were dressed all in black. And wearing dark sunglasses. Oh, so they were cool. <laughs> it all happened so fast. And you've been in a wheelchair ever since. You yes. don't know him that he well. Anymore, and I find my work very strenuous. I'll be grateful if I ever manage to finish my new book. I find talking to you very strenuous. <laughs> and why do you wear your glasses? Oh, thank goodness. You're welcome, Mr. Halligan. Good luck. Did you understand all of that? Yes, no, accidentally hits no. <laughs> I can't believe, like, after all those questions popped up, too, he's just like, I gotta ask about the wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> so really, it should be, like, dark outside by now. Like, he went in when it was light and talked to him for, like, seven hours. Halligan runs on the ocean beside the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why we took a boat to Portsmouth. Exactly. Oh, whatever. Druids? Hello, Captain. Mm. Captain. Mm. Uh, I'm French, by the way. Do you know the castle of Carmor? I say... I might. Huh? Wait, <laughs> For a price. Do you know the castle, or don't you? You say. <laughs> You're not being very talkative. What's a bribe? Oh, well, thanks for the conversation. You're welcome. <laughs> Finally, how a normal person would talk to Halligan. <laughs> Good day to you, monsieur. Shush! Another casual <laughs> glance over. <laughs> Tell me, my good man, which way is the castle? Castle. I'm trying to rub my head as I rub my mm, side. Right down mound of rubble on the outskirts <laughs> of the village, I suppose. Yes, that's it. What do you want to go there? My for? eyes are up here, Halligan. <laughs> oh, it's this way. Then he just rotates 180 <laughs> degrees in midair. Just follow the road through the village. His neck stretches out to where he's supposed to go. He <laughs> just like floats up. <laughs> just follow me. <laughs> Clips through all the houses. So the castle burnt down, did it? Yes, that's right. I think it happened in some war. <laughs> God damn it! I don't need the fucking history of everything in Mystery of the Druids. What do you know about the castle? Ah, uh, not much. It's does it matter if it's burned down? It doesn't matter. It's rubble. That's all you need to know. I used to play in the Who wanted this story? I don't think that car's legally parked. It's bothering me. <laughs> anyway, what's with that really tiny boat? The orange one in the back. <laughs> There's not much left of the It's the druid nowadays. boat. Oh. Local farmers use the ruin as a quarry when they need stones for their houses. Fascinating. There's just a few bits of rubble left. 
I can't believe they animated that person all the way in the back. See those two people under the umbrella? Oh, wow, yeah, they really are. It's really cool that Halligan's crotch can fish. <laughs> <laughs> for the children of Carmore, the Lord was a kind of bogeyman. I hope for all this story, this guy is missing out on the biggest catch of his life. <laughs> Talking to it, Halligan the jerk. That the Lord would catch and kill little children. They told me, Pierre, sleep now, or the Lord will come and get you. I remember it as if it had been yesterday. Would you like some ethanol? People believe would happen if the Lord came to get you. You'd be killed and fed to the Lord's hounds. At least, that's what my parents told me. But my parents were assholes, so. <laughs> They were kind of dicks to, like, kind of scare them like that. We kept away from the castle after dark, believe me. Well, I'm going, eventually. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to continue doing the robot while I sit. <laughs> he murdered his entire family. All right, now I'm skipping ahead to see how long this one goes. <laughs> but I don't remember many. Oh my god! Stories. Have you ever? Apparently, remember everything else. Yes, this goes to 20 minutes. We need stones for our <laughs> There's like four you more minutes. You sound so sad about this fact. <laughs> I wasn't too happy out there. I don't fucking believe this. I have to go. Good luck with your fishing. Thank oh. you. Thank you. You're good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, oh okay, good. Never mind, I guess. Oh, I mean, I'm sure we'll be back, but maybe there's a break. Wait, what? I feel like Chariots of Fire should play every time Halligan this runs. See the castle, or rather, what's left of it. Pretty creepy. Oh, well, now phew. we're gonna start playing Diablo. Tower, but it's collapsed. Hmm, looks like an uncharted set piece. I better just dig through everything here to find an amulet. The ceiling of the tower has caved in. We've really just forgotten all about the murders. Like we're just trusting <laughs> this guy that this ritual is totally correct. Oh, please let it be in that pile of leaves, like the first place he looks. I don't know. I give up, it's hard. It's spooky, I'm scared. <laughs> like, oh, now, that's here, he, here he doesn't have a car, so he actually is running to the castle. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh my god, you were gone for three days. Did you run the whole time? Into the ruin. And what do you think of our little? <laughs> it's uh, kind of it's nice. creepy. <laughs> it was a burnt out castle. That's what I said, not the village. Oh, I need to interrogate well, you about the cave that I noticed. But please, quietly. <laughs> because that's literally the only thing I saw. Precisely, my friend, you learn quickly. I have to go. I'd like to speak to you about fishing. What? What would you like to know? Um. While he was looking at the castle, he got the inspiration to ask him about fishing. <laughs> Where did fish come from? <laughs> <laughs> latest model. What do you think the first fish was? <laughs> Can fish be druids? <laughs> what the hell is this? On a normal day, yeah, I'd give a stranger fish. I mean, I'm not a monster. Yeah, precisely. I must try to catch some now, otherwise I will have nothing to Are you actually fishing? What fucking year is this that you actually have to catch your dinner, pal? Look at all the expensive cars and boats around you. You're on a marina. Sorry. Why don't you just buy a fishing rod of your own and come and Is there going to be a puzzle to actually do that? You're nice and quiet. Do you know any homeless people I could steal from to buy a fishing rod? Do you mind if I hold your fishing rod for a while? Sorry, my friend. It was very expensive. Get the fuck off. Franks on it. He's not holding it either. Right. What are you planning to catch? A fish! <laughs> fish! I've caught all kinds of fish. You know, I've caught pike five meters long with eyes like plates and razor sharp teeth. That's why I bought this. Also, a couple of empty cans. Look at the way he's facing. He's telling the player this. <laughs> to believe that. Of course. <laughs> oh, you hear that too? You lying sack of shit. Photos of one of those fish. But oh, how convenient. Lost. Yeah, really. So this game got generally negative now reviews, huh? Shred of evidence. Forget the murder. I think we found the real mystery of the druids right here. <laughs> Captain Deneuve, he will what were the druids' favorite seafood? I'll show him the fish that I catch. Captain Deneuve? Who's that? Oh, you don't know. So him. this is like a whole big thing just to be able to talk to the rude captain? Yeah, on board. He's experienced a lot and has been all... He's also a fish. He knows a lot of stories. <laughs> Don't Incredible tell him. Incredible stories. Oh, like what, for example? Fish. <laughs> I never really listen properly when he starts. <laughs> what? Well, wonder what that's of, like. Uh... <laughs> you just have to know how to deal with him. Music got really upbeat and jazzy. <laughs> how to deal with him? 
What do you mean? God damn it, we're the worst detective. Because of the fish? No, because of Capitaine Deneuve. He Here's the laugh track for Mystery of the Droids going off. I'll tell you something. Deneuve's a bit strange. Unlike me. <laughs> I'm very normal. It's a, how do you call it, a peculiarity of his. Oh? Why is that? He's an old sea dog from a real old... <laughs> Why is someone peculiar? Can you tell me about his family? Does he have a sister? Brother? He himself used to go out... He's an inheritor? A real thing. Got a master's certificate and all that. I don't fucking... Seen the world, so he says. These days he just captains the ferry. But he still insists on people using his title. He says his wife should still command... Shut... Respect. Uh, is this like a puzzle thing? You have to mind. pick the dialogue what box with his title him? and everything to curry favor. Charles mm -hmm. That's his full title. He'll appreciate. You you actually guessed it. it when I looked ahead. I saw that. We oh. have to go. Good luck with your fishing. Good luck with your fishing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be back in a minute. I'm sure. I'm sure you have many more fishing Excuse things me. to tell me. About. What? You're Monsieur le Capitaine Charles Deneuve, aren't you? And you overheard everything I was just talking about, correct, right? My boy. <laughs> Charles Deneuve, Capitaine of the Merchant Navy of France. Thank you, How do you know my name? I've been talking to a friend of yours, the fisherman over there at the jetty. Pierre? Ah, yes. Old Pierre. Why is he so much smaller I than the ship? <laughs> Look how tiny the, the captain is. This is a very yes, small boy. Did. Pierre says you're from Carmore, like he is. Is that true? Yes, that's right. Algon looks like he's talking to the boat. Here. As a youngster, I wanted to be a fisherman and used to work <laughs> I don't think he knows who's who. Later, I went to Naval College <laughs> to become a captain of the Merchant Navy of France. I have a small house... I, I don't understand room. the puzzle that we're solving, though. Like, we're just learning more about these random people that have nothing to do with our investigation. Yes. Capitaine, your French accent is impeccable. Also, wasn't that woman coming with us? Wasn't that a thing last video? What happened to her? I think he said he was gonna keep her in the loop. Mm. Rivers, backwaters. I hope she's solving the murders while we're dicking around with Cap. <laughs> Though it was weird to play as her and then just forget that. Yeah. He's gonna yeah, come right? back and be like, I can't wait to tell you all about fish. And she's gonna be like, no, Allegan. <laughs> People are now in prison for this crime. <laughs> Your memoirs? That sounds it doesn't! That's not gonna help you solve the mystery of the druids, Allegan. I cannot think of anything that sounds less interesting. Mysteries. Really? You yeah, you know, I've got tons of time. I've got nothing but time. I feel like the last video, I didn't hate Halligan enough, and then this video was made specifically so I would hate him even more. You were in all those places? Of course. And that's not all. <laughs> I love how the game is describing This has become an infomercial for his memoirs. <laughs> it's like every NPC has his awesome story, and it all happens off camera and not in this game. The stories aren't even that awesome. <laughs> but I mean, compared to this! Well, yeah. <laughs> like, can you imagine the story from the other side? It's like, yeah, I talk to, like, people Wait, for- octopuses with twice the number of tentacles? What would you call them, then? <laughs> what do you know about the castle of Carmore? The castle? The castle is shrouded in greater- Look, tell you where the amulet is. <laughs> I have ever experienced or heard of. That's saying something. Precisely, what? My boy. This whole game has been saying something for a little too long. More than most could ever dream of. But none of it is as mysterious as the story of the castle of Carmore. The people in it made a very evil video game that the druids <laughs> used as a ritual. The castle, the castle of Carmore hmm, was once the home of a good and righteous lord. Around one Again with the fucking druids. Hey, druids. Came there. I feel like there is no research done because the, the yeah. dates are all just like... Fact really round numbers like yeah, the person exactly. who wrote the game come from. Yeah, 1000. Yeah, sure, whatever. Really? Yes. Really? Do you know why they came to the castle? They entrusted the lord and his family with the safekeeping. Was it an amulet? <laughs> Nobody ever found out. Oh, well, darn. Right, but I have it right here. Take it. <laughs> Roll credits. Keep it in my pocket. <laughs> he throws it off the side of the boat like the... Now we can fish for the amulet. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now it's a puzzle. Yeah. Was that what he was called? That's what he has been called for centuries. He was a tyrant and a murderer. 
He enjoyed killing and held satanic ceremonies. And I know, I know all this about him, even though it's like 990 years later. Look, I'm a fairy captain. I know some shit. Yeah, I go to some wild satanic parties. Mm -hmm. I had a real wild year. Say, was he or wasn't he? No, I know the true story. The castle was destroyed before the Inquisition ever began. But how? I hope the boat just starts slowly sinking. <laughs> That would be my favorite thing to happen. I guess I have to, to stay happen. in here. I am the captain, after all. <laughs> like, I know it won't, but... Like a cane to appear and pull the video off screen. <laughs> the octopus with 18 tentacles appears in there and just drags them both into the water. <laughs> but it's drawn really shittily. Immediately, like. burying the lord beneath it. But why? It was an ancient druid curse. With an amulet? How can salt destroy? Wait, what did I miss castle? that this was a question? The magic of the druids. The magic oh, castle oh. destroying salt. Yes. It corrodes. <laughs> God damn it! Holy everyone's shit. teaching us. I'm never gonna salt my food ever again. <laughs> the salt seller had knowledge of druid custom. <laughs> Slowly, for this game is making you a little salty. <laughs> Perhaps. So the evil lord... Salt? <laughs> Diabetes? Yeah. What do you mean? What is salt? Tell me more about salt. Well, it's a really deadly chemical. Chemical? What's a chemical? Tell me about chemicals. Here, let me mix it in this 90% ethanol. <laughs> Children heard them from their parents, who in turn had been told them by their own God. parents. They were handed down... Did you have parents, Captain? <laughs> and those parents also had parents. Asking about the old stories... Writers, researchers, all sorts. Okay. We even had a every like dialogue box. I keep praying it's the last one. <laughs> what did the man want? To know about the castle next. Something out at the ruin. Waiting for that buy dialogue option to appear. A family. There we go. That's the amulet. He's talking about the amulet. Hey, we're asking. Five of them spent days searching the ruin. Well, tell me about each of the five in detail. <laughs> five of them. What were their middle names? Five big wigs. <laughs> Normally games like this have you find obtuse items to further the plot, but this just has you go through endless conversation trees. I don't think so. Like, we didn't even choose some of this dialogue. Like, Halligan's just offering it on his own. Do you know his name? There were five of them! You just said! There were five of them! But I forgot. Thank you, Monsieur Le Capitaine. You've been a great... He guy. hasn't. You're All right, well, we know the Inheritors are here. We learned that. They were in the cafe above the bistro... The uh, whatever. What? All right, Boat, what can you tell me about the castle? That is salt, yes. <laughs> Good job. Salt here? Well, how? Excuse me, Pierre. Yes? Now what? Pierre, you look ten years older since something. I last <laughs> talked to you. <laughs> have you spoken to him? <laughs> yes, I have. You were right. we're, I think we're nearing the end of this, finally. From my scrub ahead. I didn't want to tell you that this went on this For what, long. another conversation with a new NPC? It looks like puzzles are coming up, actually. Okay. Yeah, okay. At, like, the 30-minute mark, we're done speaking. It's all other stuff. Okay, okay. A bit muddled up. Then there's more speaking, but whatever. He certainly seems to say some strange things. I don't think all his stories are true. I think he's full of shit. <laughs> Me, on the other hand. <laughs> I hope you didn't talk to him for too long. That would have been a waste of time. Is he a friend of yours? Friend? Well, I've seen him almost every day. For Can you imagine writing all this and then it goes into this garbage game? When he's finished for the day. Yes, this rich prose. Over to the bistro for a glass of pastis. Yes, now I come to think of it, I suppose we are friends. Ah, uh, thank you. That will help me find well the amulet. I should think it's pretty difficult being friends with a man like him. Oh my god, Halligan, get the fuck out Halligan just doesn't know what it's like to have friends. If anything, he does the talking, spins his yarns. The only thing about him that sometimes drives me crazy is his damned cat. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Why didn't you mention he had a cat the first? <laughs> because we need to investigate this. The cat has this amulet that he puts on it. Where did he get the cat? Don't worry about the amulet for a minute here. They steal the fish from my bucket. <laughs> <laughs> that, wait, sometimes that when bucket I think I catch a fish, it's a cat. <laughs> How does a cat get caught in the fishing line? ...to take the animal on the ferry with him, but he just won't do it. Why does he only captain a small ferry? Tell me the history of this cat. He used to command a large merchant ship, but then he was dismissed. I... I swear to God, this captain better have a fucking lot to do with the story proper. Because he drank or the cat drank? Drink or no drink. I think we have about 30 seconds left. It was drink. 
he was actually seeing double. In the fog, he saw the shadowy outlines of two bays. So this is a 100% playthrough of Mystery of the Druids, then. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was the wrong one? Exactly. There was no right. But why would the helmsman go along with it, then? If only the captain had double vision, the helmsman would have said there is no one on the right. There's only one. The helmsman had triple vision. I understand. Okay, okay, thank you for, yes. Thank you for your assistance. No problem. You're welcome. Thank you for your assistance in telling me that you have a friend. Oh, there's the guy. There it is. Um, yeah. Now to talk to the captain. No, I'm kidding. He doesn't do that. <laughs> we better follow that cat, though. The cat knows something. I think we actually are following the cat. Is the cat a druid? Just let's get to that tiny little hitbox for the next area. A de chevaux. Probably the fisherman's. I need to stand exactly here to uh, um, more. a picturesque little place. Now that I'm hiding behind the barrels, I can spy <laughs> on everyone. What are we looking for? What's the tiny little like box we have to like click in to get to get I the game these moving? Contain fuel. Thanks, detective. These crates are made of wood. <laughs> I think things might be in them. Could the salt have come from the salt water? I don't believe we got out of freaking conversation just to stand still. <laughs> Do we have to wait for the cat? Like, does the cat have, like, a patrol? Oh, oh my oh, god, wow, it, it does. Oh, it does. Yeah. So what does the cat have? Are we gonna so... catch it in the rag? What's... What is that? I don't know. Well, it's an X. Does that mean you're gonna kill the cat? Are we chloroforming the cat? Hey, buddy. What? <laughs> Why? For what purpose? <laughs> we just have it in our inventory, like a little. On top of that, it has fleas as well. I probably shouldn't have done this. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in front of the captain, right? Why are we gonna give the cat to? He doesn't like it. Oh, because we want his. <laughs> what? Fishing but you rod. Just For some reason. God, you, you can't that? just surreptitiously that, kick it. It's that damn thing. <laughs> All my bait in the water. That's the third time this week. And you're kind of a dick for dumping the cat directly on top of it. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hell? help but notice <laughs> since I'm always looking this way. <laughs> there are so many other ways to have done that. I'll have to take everything. With that was Halligan's first idea. <laughs> Don't worry, Pierre. I'll keep an eye on you. You can trust me, a stranger. Oh, Evil laughter. No problem. Thank you, my friend. I, I did just dump a cat in your lap, but I mean. Ugh. Oh my god, they made this the slowest thing! <laughs> wow. We did this to, st we did this to steal the fucking fishing <laughs> rod. Yep, and the bucket. He has fishing rod. A telescope ultralight 47, if I'm not. Oh my god. Thank god I have a giant trench coat. Bucket. It's empty. Confiscate it, you're a cop! Or something! Buy one! <laughs> There's... Oh my god, fucking no, tell me we did this from salt! Fishing rod. What? What do we... What? No. Yeah. How? We did this. We There's did this a to get salt. Door. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> what is the captain thinking right now? <laughs> the captain's like, I could have just given you some. We have it. Huge lumps of salt. <laughs> I. <laughs> Come. But why did we get salt? Because it's cur we have to put it on something, I assume, but I don't know what, because we didn't see Well, keep in mind, the only just... thing he saw when he came here was the collapsed ceiling, so something all about that gave him the idea. Salt. Holy shit. So we had to talk to the guy fishing to learn about the captain, to learn about the cat, the guy, to learn about the cat, to see the cat, mm -hmm. to do all that. Yeah, all for salt. It's locked, but the salt will give me the strength I need to open it. <laughs> I'll just use my case file? What? What? <laughs> what? I'm, I'm sorry, wait. Was it like a credit card and a locked <laughs> door? <laughs> what? No, that doesn't work. No, it doesn't That's... make any sense at all, but... And your case file, like, paper's not as strong as a plastic credit card either, so even if it was that kind of door, it wouldn't have worked. Also, who is the uh, mysterious figure that we saw? And also, why is there, like, a baby crucified in the foreground here? Yeah, that's kind of... That's a little odd. A gravestone. Pretty weather-beaten. I guess it's supposed to be a crucifix, but it really doesn't look like one. Wait, Time to fish you... for a body, I guess. Oh. 
Why? That's what? That's the bone from Epping Forest. Wrapped up just the way it should be. Huh? huh? What? Oh, he ground up the salt. Why did you need to do it on the gravestone? This was the most convenient place I could find. <laughs> but you could have just bought regular salt. Like, now it's not even like, okay, well, I needed big pieces of salt. Yeah, you ground it up to be, like, table salt. But there was, there was really, there was, did he really have to go to this grave site for that? I can't imagine how we're supposed to figure out how to do that. Where, did we, where was there a whole other castle? I expect the lord of the castle's buried in there. It's gigantic. It looks really shitty. The mausoleum is practically a castle itself. If only I were tiny enough to fit inside. I know, the perspective here. That's salt. Almost as fine-grained as dust. Well, yeah, you did that. Oh, God. Don't... Don't throw what? the salt at it. And, like, is, what? What? What the... F <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Might as well just have blown on it. Completely disintegrated. Just lightly brush aside the place. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I can't. I don't... Oh, so much is happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the email of transformation apparently... Why do you apparently, know that? Why are there stink lines on it? <laughs> But, like, you don't know, I mean... Why would salt destroy it instantly? <laughs> I so don't... They said... <laughs> like, they said it destroyed the castle, but I... I mean... I... <sighs> but that... Like, I could believe that it was like, oh, it's like weird... Cursed druid salt. It's not like yeah. regular salt, but this is super like regular ass salt. <laughs> not barely a handful it's of regular salt. salt you got like... off a fucking boat from like the ocean. Like some really heads that moves by Halligan. He had never even seen that area before he came. Here. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good detective. You gotta. You gotta. Admit. No, yeah, I, I gotta yeah, he give him a, that. He has an instinct. Except that he took, like, a piece of the body, which is evidence, and used it to grind salt. Well, you know. Okay. All right, take me away from here. I've done my damage. What can I do for you? Oh, you're that weirdo who took my salt. When are you leaving for Portsmouth? <laughs> In two hours. Are you coming? You're not invited. Yes. Then come aboard. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I think I'd better leave the amulet in the cabin. I might lose it otherwise. Or it might- What the fuck are you talking that about? That seems like an easier way to lose it, Halligan. Let's see, what's a secure place? Ah, this closet. Perhaps if I stuff it down the sink. No? My spare suit. Just in case. Well, wait! I how long was this trip? Too early to pack. We won't be arriving yet. Like, I assume this was kind of like a same day type of thing. Yeah, it's not really clear. This is a puzzle the protagonist himself made for himself. <laughs> that won't help either. What? You have pockets. You're carrying a bone. And a fishing rod. A perfect hiding place for the amulet. No. He's gonna get back in here and be like, man, I really don't remember where I put that. Who's go looking for it? <laughs> Why would anyone know that you took it? Right. Is the Druid maintenance oh, guy going to notice the collapsed on mausoleum? On Someone's broken into my cabin and searched through all my Wow, things. crazy, huh? What? Did this a shock. A of it. The amulet. You oh jackass! Oh hell again. <sighs> don't believe it. Hell. I, I mean, there is no other reason you have But done where this, else but could I have possibly put the board. amulet? But we're pulling into the harbor. I'll never catch him now. You're- what kind of cop are you? <laughs> well, I did my best. Easy come, easy go, I guess. <laughs> what are you gonna I do? I just need to find another mausoleum to throw salt at. Oh boy, I'm an idiot. Okay. Kind of a weird doorbell. Hello, Mr. Blake. I'm back. <laughs> did you find the amulet? I found it and story. lost it. Good and bad. Good news or bad news? <laughs> <laughs> well, go on then. I can't wait to hear what happened. A series of very improbable events. It's up in the Lord's Mausoleum. Really? It really uh, just does. tell me about druids first. <laughs> you've got it. Show me. Uh, throw salt at him and he breaks but apart. <laughs> stolen from me. Stolen? 
not a well, you see, I'm not very no smart. I hid it in my cabin <laughs> during the crossing. For Some no real reason. Rummaged through all my luggage. Was anything else missing? No, not a thing. Someone must have been following you. I didn't notice anyone. We noticed! No, I've been looking for an amulet in that godforsaken dump. Certain people may be taking a great interest in your investigations, Mr. Halligan. Not me. Do not underestimate the power of the druids. <laughs> Ooh, oogie boogie. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it was just a case of ordinary... <laughs> oh, no. Idiot! It might not be that serious. I doubt it's related. Petty theft, someone deliberately Nobody tearing apart my cabin. To... And they took fun. nothing but the amulet! Ah, maybe it's petty theft. Who knows? Yeah. They just randomly found it. Now nothing can stop the perfection of the ritual. <laughs> Mr. Blake... <gasps> Oh, the druid stole the amulet? That's absurd. Uh, no, it's Is not. Is it absurd? It's Nothing else that's happened has been absurd, but this too much? <laughs> Everything's been making perfect sense up until now. The are after it just as much. I thought the druids ceased to exist 1,000 years ago. It seems there are still some left after all, just as I suspected. <laughs> oh, I'm, so I'm so pleased pretty... with myself that I'm right that the world is ending. I haven't met anyone who looked like a druid so far. No, no, Mr. Halligan. You won't recognize the inheritors by their cloaks and sickles. They're people, just like you and me. They could be powerful <laughs> industrialists, oh. high-ranking politicians, or influential military men. People in key positions of society. What can I do, then? I can't possibly check up Point. the higher upper class of British society <laughs> looking for a couple of druids. No. Have you now, or have you ever been a member of the Druid Party? On groups of Neo Druids. Neo Druids. If anyone tries to justify their claims to the Druids' inheritance, they will. Neo Druids? They're like, it's like New Game Plus when they try to upgrade enemies. Successors. <laughs> They're organized in orders like Templars or Freemasons. And when did the Druids first begin? What do these groups do. Oh, well, most of them are just oh. harmless society. So, like, do we have to, like, beg people in the description to hang on through, like, 30 <laughs> minutes of conversation to get to this part? They're quite public societies, and are always trying to find new members for their cause. Tell me more about these Neo-Druids. Whoa. Like said, what could there be? Neo-Druids trying to live their lives according to ancient Druids. Sorry, Neo-Druids just sounds too goofy. Do <laughs> take seriously? <laughs> But there are some really dubious associations going around. Combined I hear some of them smoke weed. <laughs> Neo weed. Say that there is such a sect at large somewhere in London. In London, you said? Do you know where I might find these people? Have they infiltrated Scotland Yard? All I know is that the only people who know anything about the order refer to it as the Circle. Thank you, Mr. Blake. I'll I don't know much. I just know what people yeah. secretly if you call it. Have any more questions? Don't hesitate to call on me anytime you like. Aww. No, not when we're what? 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 <laughs> what? The impression this business could get pretty dangerous from now on. Yes, very likely, Mr. Halligan. Do you have a spare Maybe wheelchair just in case? Both of us, if we let someone else in on the matter, please call Melanie Turner in Oxford. Well, you do it. Story. Make sure she I'm too lazy to do it. <laughs> Leave out the salt. The Anthropological Museum. The number's in the phone book. And yeah, don't I'll give him the number. Just... As soon as possible. Would you do <laughs> she's going to be like, Halligan, this guy called Halligan. me and talked to me for eight hours. And I'm <laughs> so upset. Why did you give him my number? Oh, if you need money for the phone call, just make sure to kill a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst detective ever. <laughs>